Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over the bullish breakout that we have seen on the Bitcoin chart right now and I'm going to be going over the targets that this leaves us to the upside on the Bitcoin chart. So I hope that you really enjoy that video. If you're looking forward to the targets, you can smash up that like button and we will now go over to the chart and cover what we are looking for in terms of the upside after the bullish breakout. So to remind ourselves, I want to go over really quickly the point of control and how this has been absolutely, you know, absolutely crucial to deciding the Bitcoin moves here. And let's take our step back to what we were covering in last night's live stream. Obviously, we lost the point of control of this range. We back tested it as resistance and we had that massive Bitcoin drop. OK, a drop after retesting that point of control of basically five thousand dollars drop. OK, after testing that point of control so we can see how so crucial it was. OK, so we were in a range. We lost the point of control, back tested it. Five thousand dollar drop. OK, and where did we find support off of our old range point of control? So after back testing this point of control, we dropped five thousand dollars to bounce off the point of control and then back test that point of control to the dollar right here. If we zoom in on the chart, this is obviously what we were covering in last night's live stream we were really aware of that point of control it was obviously we had our lower one as support we had this one here as resistance and um, just as the live stream was over we actually started to break through this point of control and this is why i gave you this sort of urgent update for you all on instagram where i was saying that bitcoin is going for the bullish breakout we had cleared the point of control and we were back up at the top of the range but this time at the top of the range we were getting a lot of buying interest so there was a high likelihood that we were going to be breaking out bullishly of this range so you know again if you want those sort of urgent updates that i'll be telling you that's obviously over on instagram then we obviously did get the breakout and i was saying to my team over in the champions group that i really think that we're going to be going now then to thirty-eight thousand dollars because we had broke bullishly out of that range so remember this thirty-eight thousand dollars as you can see right now on the bitcoin chart the current high after that breakout is thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-six dollars so within within four dollars we're basically rejecting off of this thirty-eight thousand dollar level okay but i want to show you one more really key bit of what actually happened here as you know from last night's live stream we were looking at the range that range obviously broke bullishly to the upside but what happened here after the bullish break we back tested once again that point of control absolutely perfectly to confirm that move once more to the upside so just as after breaking the range to the downside, we back tested the point of control for a massive move down. What we have seen here is a break of our range, which we were looking at this yesterday. We broke that range to the upside. We have back tested that point of control, and then we got another move up to that key level of $38,000, which I was telling my team that's the next level to be looking for at 1 a.m. yesterday. So that kind of brings us up to speed of how we confirmed that breakout really with that bounce off the point of control and now i want to give you the target that you're going to be looking for if we meet the measured move target so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the range that we were that we were trading yesterday the low of that range to the high of that range and then we're going to move this measured move target to the breakout so as you can see this resistance was into support and here we had our break so what we're going to do is the measured move of this gives us a target of around $38,644. So we can basically be looking for around this $38,800 high because you remember everybody, this was our one-to-one -one measured move. So this is still a absolutely massively important level. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the measured move target of the pattern breakout. Obviously, that was the range that we were covering yesterday. If we had broke to the upside, we had our targets. If we broke to the downside, we had our targets. And we actually did get the break to the upside, the confirmation of the break by back testing the point of control, then another move to the upside. We're finding resistance currently off of that big $38,000 level. If we can clear the $38,000, I think we're going to be moving back up towards that really that $38,800 level. Okay. So that's what we're looking at in terms of targets to the upside. 
obviously what you have to remember is if you start to clear these targets that's when you're going to be looking up and then once more your higher target your higher target your higher targets but that in terms of the measured move of the pattern that we were trading in last night's live stream that is the target around $38,800 to really that one-to-one -one once more of $38,643. From here, we can look into the charts, get some information of, okay, is this the resistance and we're going to head back down? Or are we likely to break through that resistance and look towards higher levels such as 40,000? Obviously, for this, we're going to have to be looking at the volume and the confirmation in the time as it's, like, as it's happening, really. OK, I do want to make you aware because we are at that thirty eight thousand dollar resistance region, if we do miss the target slightly. So if you were longing the breakouts yesterday, you're going to have to be saying to yourself, you're very close to target and you do not want to get in this position, if you remember, of getting into nice long positions on the back test or confirmations, seeing profits and then seeing them turn to losses. So obviously, this is a nice take profit zone because what you have to do is protect yourself for if we start to actually come back down here okay bitcoin sometimes likes to do fake outs and then just head straight back down so although it's looking nice at the moment we have broke out and we got the back tests and then we got another breakout we do have to remember we are at that thirty-eight thousand dollar region really thirty-eight thousand thirty thirty-eight thousand two hundred. if this resistance holds today and we are to make our way back down obviously your key support of this is going to be once again that point of control that's coming in at $35,800 okay and then if we obviously we start to break down from here we can get the measured move of this range and look at it to the downside which would obviously give that a move to around $32,200 so those are your key support levels at the moment as it stands right now we are obviously making our way up here so we are interested in those higher term time frame targets but we're just always going to be protecting ourselves okay we're going to have to protect ourselves in case bitcoin decides to turn around here although it is looking nice at the moment if it does decide to turn around we are going to have to be aware of our support levels and really that's going to be the point of control if we lose this we're going to be looking to around 3200 ish dollars to the downside um so that's really the update that i wanted to give you today i wanted to show you how really really perfectly these point of controls are i mean from the back test we five thousand dollar move to the downside to bounce off of that point of control to then break that range and back test the point of control hope you guys and girls can see that this is absolutely it's kind of like magic it really is and sometimes you just need to be patient and wait wait for the back test wait for those confirmations and, um, you know, that's when you can get those really high probability trades. So it's, it requires a little bit of patience. It absolutely does require patience. OK, but um, yeah, I just wanted to wanted to make you aware of this video this morning of those few targets that we have to the upside. And if we do start to break down, just be aware of those lower term time frame targets uh, to to the downside. Um, so, yeah, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. As always, I will say make sure you absolutely smash up those like buttons because it does show me that you are interested in the content and you want to see us come back for more and uh, obviously the more likes that we get the more likely we will are to to do a live stream for you and that way we can go over these confirmations as they're happening the breakout targets before they happen uh, so you're aware of those targets so the up and the downside of the patterns so if you're interested in that you can give a like to this video and i will do another live stream for you shortly if this video is well received uh all i will end with saying is i uh, hope that you have a brilliant day everybody have a brilliant weekend hope that you enjoy trading the charts and uh absolutely crush it everybody thank you ever so much and have a good day thank you and goodbye